Hi, how How's are it you? Going? Alex, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Let's just kind of start with a lot of people, it's an issue of personal choice. If you not getting the vaccine didn't pose a risk to me or the... You can be vaccinated at any time. Right. But there are breakthrough infections. It's Vaccines aren't 100%. Oh, so you're a vaccine skeptic? No, but I mean, the, the fact of the matter is COVID is a public health. It's not a, it's not a private health issue. It's a public health no, it's, issue. No, it's, it's private. You can be vaccinated at any time. Okay. And you're protected. There are a lot of people that have young kids or people who, for whatever medical reason, yeah. can't get it, who are vulnerable. Are they? Are they vulnerable? Well, I don't know. Do you think they are no. vulnerable? If you're a healthy person, a young person, it's not such a significant issue that the that you needs to be your sole focus. You don't need to go out and try to pursue the vaccine. You're just fine. I mean, look at me. I'm 32. Mm -hmm. I'm very healthy. I eat well. I work out. Try to work out every day. And it's just, I'm fine. <laughs> are you vaccinated? Say what? Are you vaccinated? That's a private health care decision. So if I, if I was, I, would, I wouldn't tell you. 325 Floridians are dying a day. Do you believe that statistic? Mm, listen, if you want to show it, the statistic of what time frame you're talking about, that's totally fine. But here's the deal. Anybody can be vaccinated at any time. It's their personal de decision. I know that you don't like that, but I, it's gotta... not about me. I'm trying to understand you're a legislator, right? You, you represent the yeah, people. I represent free citizens who are completely informed on the health. I probably know a lot more about COVID than you do, to be honest. You probably but, do, and you probably should because it's your job yeah, exactly. to protect the job. public and make, you're introducing bills about it's it, my, I'm not. It's, it's, as a government official, it's my job to protect their rights, protect their freedoms. I'm not here to micromanage every aspect of their life. So maybe you don't understand that because you work in journalism, but uh, that's the role of the government. That's actually the founding principle of the government is to protect rights, let decisions be made by individuals concerning their own public health. But there is another side to this, okay? Sure. And, and there are people that say, if the federal government doesn't step in in the event of mass death in America, a, a, a widely transmissible virus that is laying waste to the economy, that is shuttering schools and businesses, what, that is putting hospitals at capacity. What world are you living in? So that's my question. Are you Do vaccinated? You, yes. Okay. But, the, but that. Are you encourage people to get vaccinated? I, it is. I'm. I'm not here to tell you what I think. Okay. I'm here to get a better understanding of why it is that you think the way that you do. Why? Because uh, there I, are a lot of people that yeah. just don't understand how they're you. They're stupid. They're stupid people. You just think they're stupid. Yeah. So you're saying there's a difference between saying, I don't believe in the mandate, but I do believe in the vaccine itself. Yeah, I mean, listen, if you're really old and really unhealthy, you should probably go and take the vaccine, right? I'm, I'm trying to get a sense of where you think the Republican Party is at. Is the movement in the party towards you? I would say that McConnell's like way, way outside the step of the party. I mean, he's almost anti-base at this point. Most of, but most of the Republicans haven't woken up to the proper role of what the Republican Party should be today. And uh, that's a smaller group. That's Matt Gates, Paul Gosar, Marjorie Taylor Greene, myself, people like that. And then you have like what I would consider just like a, like a liberal Republican like Mitch McConnell. I mean, he's basically a liberal at this point. He's almost a Democrat. And they know, they just know, they're just biding their time before they're removed from the party. Survival of the fittest. That's right. That's right. Uh, Very accurate. How do you think history is going to write this particular chapter when we're in the middle of a pandemic? There's just a huge divide between Americans about what to do. The parties are at, at diametric opposition to one another. Well, that's a great question. I think there will be um, geographical realignment to the point where you're going to see California get even more blue. Everyone was shocked by this week's the Larry Elder results. I was not shocked. In places like Florida and Texas are going to get more Republicans. So we'll really have two countries from within it. And the question will just be like, how are those two countries governed? How? Hopefully peaceably. We'll see.